must not for a moment forget. It is a birthright of every individual to receive at least the basic education without which he cannot fully discharge his duties as a citizen, said Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Respected principal, teachers and my dear friends, wishing you all a very good morning. This is Swati. Today I am here to speak a few words about Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad was a great freedom fighter, social and political activist. He was born on 11 November 1888 at Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Azad was the first education minister of independent India from 1947 to 1958. He advocated for free and compulsory primary education for all children up to the age of 14 because he believed that every citizen has a right to education. The word Maulana is an honorific, which means our master. He adopted Azad, free, as his pen name. His contribution towards establishment of education foundation in India is recognized by celebrating his birthday on November 11th as National Education Day across India. He was homeschooled and self-taught. He was not only fluent in Arabic as a first language, but also he had mastery over other languages, including Bengali, Hindi, Persian, and English. In 1912, Malana Azad started publishing a weekly newspaper in Urdu known as Al-Hilal from Calcutta and openly attacked British policies while exploring the challenges faced by common people. He was a prominent political leader of the Indian National Congress and was elected as Congress President in 1923 and again in 1940. He also participated in the Khilafat movement in 1920-24 during India's freedom struggle. Malana was a firm believer in the coexistence of religions. Along with fellow Khilafat leaders, he was a founding member of the Jamia Millia Islamia Institution in Delhi which is now a renowned university. He died on 22nd February 1958 in Delhi while serving in his office. For his invaluable contribution to the nation, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad was posthumously awarded India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, in 1992.